For those of you that are TikTok fans, I apologize in advance. Let's say that, hypothetically, 6 9 breaks his arm doing the Renegade. As a result, TikTok is losing market share, their profits are going down, and things just aren't looking too good for them. Let's say that the CEO of TikTok is Simon. Simon now has to use his big brain and managerial skills to get out of this situation. Simon has to think about which management style to use so that TikTok can survive. To determine if a particular management style is appropriate, we use four factors. Nature of task, employee experience, time, and preference of manager, or net P for short. Using these four factors, we ask ourselves a set of questions. For the nature of task, we ask ourselves whether the situation is intense or not. If the situation is intense, then we would consider using an autocratic or persuasive management style, because these would involve quick and effective decision making and no employee input. If the situation was not intense, we would consider using a consultative, participative, or laissez-faire management style, because quick decision making is not required. The situation is indeed quite intense and stressful for TikTok, as they are losing profits, which would make using an autocratic or persuasive management style more suitable. For employee experience, we ask ourselves whether the employees at the business are experienced or not. If the employees are experienced, we would consider using a consultative, participative, or laissez-faire management style, since the employees are able to suggest ideas to help come out of the situation. If the employees are inexperienced, we would consider using an autocratic or persuasive management style, as the employees may need more guidance and are unlikely to offer high-quality ideas to help come out of the situation. For time, we ask ourselves whether the business has lots of time or little time to come out of the situation. If we have lots of time, we would consider using the consultative, participative, or laissez-faire management style, since these management styles often require large amounts of time to come to decisions. If we have little time available, we would consider using the autocratic or persuasive management style, since they involve quick decision making and there is no employee input required. For preference of manager, we ask ourselves what management style does the manager use on a day-to-day -day basis. If a manager has used a particular management style in the past, they would be more comfortable using it, and so will be more likely to correctly use it in the future. This means there is less chance of the manager making errors when coming to a decision. It would be inappropriate for a manager to make a dramatic shift in the management style they are using, since it could cause more harm for the business's future.